What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Let's talk about CCIV. This is Churchill Capital. They're merging with Lucid Motors. You guys have probably seen the bloodbath with this stock recently. Let's zoom out to the daily charts. So these guys are doing extremely well all the way up to $64.86 from a mere price of $10 from the SPAC price. These guys started out at 10, went up to $64, which is pretty incredible since everyone was very enthusiastic that Lucid Motors will be going public, which everyone is saying that could be the next big competitor against Tesla. We saw Neo stock going to the moon because they sold a lot of amazing electric vehicles. We also saw Workhorse go up in that first massive way because of a potential EV USPS contract. Obviously, that didn't really go through. Therefore, shares dropped. We also have been seeing XPIN because those guys are selling a bunch of cars. Share prices of XPIN are going up. Just like Lucid Motors, everyone wants a piece of CCIV and the EV market. Everyone's trying to find the next hot Tesla stock. If you guys bought into CCIV around the 10s and 20s, you're still making money even after that huge initial drop. I think one of the biggest reasons why the share prices dropped so much was because of sell the news. There was already such a massive run-up. Look at this. There was little to no breaks during this run-up. There was only like a handful of red days. And these red days, I wouldn't even consider them red days. It's like negative two, negative three percent, sometimes negative eight. But the green days are like plus 27% plus 31%, plus 26%. So the green days did really well and the red days, they barely even made the stock go down. So I guess it's a somewhat like punishment for the stock going up too much. And when you have the DA and agreement coming out for Lucid Motors and also CCIV, a lot of investors are like, okay, it's time to pack up. It's time to leave. The stock has already went up so much. There's really not any sort of a major catalyst for us to stay here. So let's just sell off and maybe even buy in later on. So that's exactly what people are doing. And CCIV is honestly pretty strong at the $30 to $35 mark. Essentially, it hovered at around $30 to $35 for the past couple of days, not really going down that much, not really going up that much. And CCIV is honestly, if they could find a good consolidation point, it will be a very great way for investors to jump in. Now, keep in mind that Lucid Motors confirmed the SPAC deal. They will officially go public. Valuation absolutely tanked. And it's honestly pretty scary. Now, there's some good news for Lucid Motors, including the construction of their very first EV factory, which will be making the very first Lucid vehicles, the Lucid Air. Now, these vehicles are not cheap at all. In fact, they're pretty expensive. Essentially, they start priced at roughly $70,000 and they work themselves all the way up to $161,000. That's very expensive. 70 grand to 131 grand. And the very first vehicles that they will be cranking out from the factory will be the one that's extremely expensive. It's $161,000. They're very similar to Tesla, in my opinion, essentially making the more expensive cars and then slowly come out with the ones that are a lot cheaper. That way, they could easily scale up. And obviously, though, they don't really have the factory personnel or the expertise to start cranking out cheaper variants of their cars. They need to come out with more expensive variants to not only seal themselves as a luxury car manufacturer, but as the best way to raise capital, get more money, and obviously grow their company as fast as they can. And after a year of breaking ground, the company has announced that it finished the first phase of construction, scheduled to start production of its first vehicle by spring 2021. Now, there's a lot of things that have been pushed back if you guys want to get a Lucid Motors car, you most likely have to wait for another year, maybe even a year and a half. Now, a lot of people have been asking why with the major drop of CCIV on such good news it comes down with valuation. Yesterday's closing price of roughly $57 or more like two days ago, it was at $57 before the announcement. Lucid's market cap would have been $91 billion before delivering a single vehicle. That really gives us a lot of Nikola Motor vibes. And eventually people started asking themselves, is Lucid worth this much? If they do have valuation concerns, it will go down. $57 is a little bit too absurd. $91 billion before delivering a single vehicle is just, it makes no sense. 
That's like two to three times the valuation of Ford, which sells thousands and thousands of cars every single week. And then you got these guys over here that don't even sell a single car. That's valued at $91 billion. So it really doesn't make sense. Obviously valuation and the share prices have been cut recently. I wouldn't even be surprised if CCIV just keeps dropping, but recently there has been massive price fluctuations for this company. Now, the stock is at $34. It used to be at 64. Right now could be the perfect time to buy the dip on CCIV. If you feel like Lucid could be making a lot of cars, more factories, maybe announce other products like batteries, solar panels. Honestly, if they could somewhat mimic Tesla's business model, they could easily become a $100, $200 billion valuation company, which is big. Now, Lucid still plans to deliver the first 6,000 vehicles by the year's end, since construction will be starting around spring 2021. Obviously, a lot of times when these car companies give out an exact date or somewhat of an exact time frame of when something will happen there's a lot of things that happen in between it that does cause major delays so the first 6,000 vehicles by the year's end or maybe Q quarter one of 2022 which is still pretty impressive if they do announce and also deliver all 6,000 of these vehicles by the year's end share prices or definitely go up and then you got Tesla and also other electric vehicle companies like Lucid and General Motors is coming out with a series of electric vehicles, could be getting more than $7,000 EV tax credits under Biden's Green Act. That's also very appealing and makes things a lot simpler. So far, I'm pretty bullish overall long-term for Lucid. So there's a few catalysts I wanna address. I wanna be seeing better stuff for the Dreamview, which is Lucid's autonomous driving assistant, which you can actually drive autonomously in major interstates and highways, but you still need some sort of a human intervention. Now, a lot of other car companies right now don't really have any sort of autopilot. If you look around, most car companies only have maybe sensors, auto brake, and maybe a little bit of lane assist. But other than that, I mean, Lucid is probably the closest thing to a full autopilot similar to Tesla compared to other companies out there. They're doing extremely well, and I really do feel like Lucid Motors can definitely do some cool stuff in the future. So I'm pretty bullish on Lucid. The valuation is extremely wacky. There's a lot of confusing stuff, but with the share prices looking like they consolidated around $34, $35, it could be a very safe entry to go in and just maybe hold for the next year or two because if Lucid really does crank out a bunch of cars, coming out brand new vehicles like SUVs, small sedans, hypercars, trucks, etc., share prices will definitely go up. It has already taken a massive punishment recently, going all the way to 64, hovered around this area, and then massive plummet down to the dirt to almost below 30 bucks. And now it's just somewhat just stabilizing around this region. And it's really hard for the stock to go up. There really isn't that much interest anymore for Lucid, it almost looks like. I mean, if you look at the previous volume, it's like twice as high as the volume recently. So it's kind of iffy right now, but long term, I feel like Lucid could definitely get back to their feet. What I want to see from a company is more announcements on the upcoming autopilot system, new features, new products, and also production. Production is key. I want to hear more updates about the factory. That way, share prices could definitely have a good reaction with it. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.